all around us and we all are eager to find out what is happening around the world. You know, I feel disconnected if I do not have access to the information for a few hours or a few days. I am sure you must be feeling the same and have a curiosity to know about the happenings around you. Newly arrived or noteworthy information detailing the recent events that help us to connect with people, society and the world is called news. Hello participants, today in this lecture I deliberate on various aspects of news. This module design is to provide insight on fundamentals about news such as the concept source and principle of news. It helps to understand the elements and values of news. I will use several examples to describe these aspects so that by the end of this module you will be able to gain comprehensive knowledge about the news. Now that you are aware of the overview, let's begin with the concept of news. The word news is a plural form of the word new. It denotes new things that is fresh things. You know that it is popularly believed that the word news is a contraction of north, east, west and south signifying that information arrived from all point of the compass. Well, that is not in the case. News stand for notable events, weather and sports. Essentially news is not static but it is a dynamic concept. It means that the news change minute to minute, hour to hour, day to day, week to week or month to month. Previously it was said that yesterday's news was old news. However, today in the era of 24 into 7 hours news channel, what is new in the morning is outdated by the afternoon. If we want to further deliberate, news is a report of what a news organization has recently learned about matters of some significance or interest to the specific community that news organization serves. News is providing information about something or an event that is unexpected or has happened recently. The best news is the one which has the most significant interest in the highest number of people. Now, an obvious question comes in your mind. What makes news? Are people the one making the news or the places? Do all the information is news? So let's start with knowing about what constitutes news and finding answers to these questions one by one. News is primarily a significant source of information, maybe about certain events or person or organizations. Every piece of information is not news. We seek information that may have a value to us at an individual level which may not be necessary for a group, vice versa. News is an important information that gets shared. A discovery made by a scientist is only important information till it remains with the scientist or the team. If and when it becomes available to a large number, it can be considered as news and news is an important information that gets shared through media like radio, television, newspaper, internet, social network, etc. So combining the above four ingredients, we can gain some understanding of the news such as the primary purpose of the news is to get information. Let's now talk about sources of news. Every minute, every day, something new is happening around us. But a journalist may not be everywhere all the times to report incidents. Hence, he or she relies on various methods to get information about all the events he or she cannot see himself or herself. When someone or something provide you with information, we call them a source. Source of news are innumerable. A source may be a person, journal, book, document, files, institute and more recently the internet and social media.
that disseminate timely information to print and electronic media for publication or broadcasting. The video link appears over the screen gives you more information on the source of news. Let's now move on to the types of news sources. News sources are broadly categorized into primary and secondary sources. Let's first talk about the primary sources. The primary source of news means gathering the information about an event, person and issue on a first-hand basis or eyewitness offering an inside view. It is essential to understand that primary source provide original happening of the event it contain new information. Primary source can be written or spoken. Often primary sources reflect the viewpoint of an observer. There could be various primary sources. Here we go for a few. Contacts. A journalist or a reporter needs to maintain the contact of people with their names and numbers in order to get information. Local calls. This is obtaining information by the news agencies by calling their regular sources like police, fire, ambulance, etc. to know any notable incidents. Tip of and leaks. Tip of means receiving news from an anonymous source without informing their name. This kind of information needs to be checked carefully before going to print or broadcast. Observation. Gathering information on a first-hand basis by a journalist is much better than the second-hand source because in some situation, the physical presence of the journalist is demanded so that they can use their technical expertise to find things. Person around the event, their moods and mannerism of the people he meets. Therefore, he can access the situation with a bird's eye view. Court and tribunals. To know about the accurate picture of conflict in bureaucracy within and between the states regarding various issues like water sharing, the court's reports are very useful. Experts. Every day in university and research institution, men and women carry out the research that would make great stories if only the journalist knew about them. News conferences. An organization that wants to promote a message or a product will organize a news conference and invite journalists to cover it. Let us turn to the next source that is secondary sources. Secondary sources analyze, interpret, summarize, evaluate and process the primary sources. Here I am going to discuss five secondary sources. The first one is the wires. These are the news services provided by news agency such as the press association, associated press and the dozen of local news agencies. Many news organizations rely on the wires for international stories, coverage of court cases and tips off on good local stories. The second one is press or news releases. These are publicity handouts or stories given to the media for publication and dozens of them arrive in newsrooms every day. The third one is the internet. To attain information quickly around the globe, internet is an essential source of news. The fourth one is archives or cutting files. Most newspapers have their cutting library and many now have an online archive that can be searched. The fifth one is reference books. To find the facts, re reference books are the most reliable source of information.